Amen. Can you imagine such a scene? All who say, oh, that man in the blue shirt. Come, 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 come. Ah, you don't look very happy. This is supposed to be a happy occasion. Can you imagine that? And that is what happened to Nehemiah. The king himself looked at his face and said, why are you so sad? Nehemiah didn't need to go and speak to maybe the armor bearer and say, you know, you, the king likes you, you are friendly with him, so speak to the king on my behalf. No, he knew he said the king of kings and the lord of lords. Hallelujah. Nehemiah knew the God he said. Amen. And because of the God he said, he had that total confidence that what he needs, he's going to get it. Amen. Amen. The king looked at Nehemiah's face and said, Why do you look sad? Amen. Why do you look sad? What is the problem? Nehemiah refused to let fear. You know, a lot of the time, the way we've been raised up, we've been taught that to be humble, you shouldn't say some things. You know, as Christians, they'll ask you, how are you? Oh, I'm blessed and highly favored. The how are you will not even come from your mouth and you answer. Oh, it is well in my soul. Amen. That is how we are betrayed. We speak the word of God. Amen. But there are times when it is a sister, a brother, your pastor, somebody you trust, and they ask you, how are you? Speak the truth. We are so used to speaking Christian needs. We spiritualize everything. Hallelujah. We spiritualize everything. Pastor has asked you, Brother, how are you? He has picked up something in the spirit. And then you say, Oh, I'm fine. I'm blessed. Oh, it is well. Oh, it is wonderful. It is not wonderful. Speak the truth. Amen. So the man of God can agree with you. He can pray with you. Amen. Hallelujah. Nehemiah spoke the truth. He said, Oh King, how can, it, how can I not look sad? How will I not be sad? Amen. Can you imagine? I want you to see the power of this kind of king. Nikolai has come here. He's, he's asked you a question. You know, maybe the TV cameras are there. Oh, how are you? Brother Bertram. Amen. Because he's asked somebody your name, so they've told him. You know, they like to use first names, so you know they love the people. Brother Brother, how are you? So, um, sir, there's something I need to talk to you about. Amen. Hallelujah. That is what happened to Nehemiah. He told the king his problem. Amen. But the Bible tells us that before he even opened his mouth, he prayed again. Amen. I love this man. He's a man of prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, he, when the king asked them, why does your face look so sad when you are not ill? It can be nothing but sadness of the heart. And then he tells him that this is the problem. The city where I come from has a problem. And you know, even Nehemiah saying this, he could have been afraid that the king would think he's not loyal. Amen. He's still affiliated to where he comes from. But because he knew the God he says, he was bold. Amen. Because of the God you serve, you shall be bold. Amen. Because of the God you serve, you shall have favor. Hallelujah. Nehemiah was able to speak to the king. He told the king his problem. Amen. Amen. And then the king opens his mouth and says, so what is it you want me to do for you? Can you imagine? Hallelujah. Amen. David Cameron is asking you, so what is it you want me to do for you? Oh. Amen. Amen. Now before you're coming to pull the list out, or will you ring somebody to ask, so what should I say? No. No, you will tell them because if you have been bold enough to talk to them and they have found favor to be able to answer you, amen. You know that this is your time, amen. Hallelujah, amen. A shift, it's called a, a divine come a God. The Lord says today there is a divine shift, amen. Hallelujah. Nehemiah. The Bible says that the king was sitting there with the queen beside him. Remember that Esther herself was a Jew. So already, 
before you speak your problem to that person, God has already worked on the heart of that person. The Bible says that we shall decree a thing and it shall be established. Amen. The Bible tells us in Proverbs 21 verse 1 that God holds king's hearts in his hands and he turns it whichever way that he will. Before you open your mouth to speak to that person, God has already dealt with that problem in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, this is my time for my divine shifting. Say it like you believe it. Your words are powerful. Amen. Say it like you have full conviction. This is my time for my divine shifting. Amen. Let us give him praise. Hallelujah. It is our time for our divine shifting. Amen. Amen. So when the Himal spoke to the king and the king asked him, What do you want? Ah, the Nehemiah said, ah, you have brought yourself. I'm going to give you my list. Amen. He says, I need letters of authority. I need guards. I need soldiers. I need equipment. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Nehemiah gave the king his list. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, when there is a divine shifting, you don't need to go out to look for the right people. When it is your time of a divine shift, the right people will come and look for you. Amen. Amen. The Lord says, this is your time. This is your time. The right people will come and look for you. In this time of divine shifting, you will not need to go and look for opportunity. Opportunity will look for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Opportunity will chase you. Opportunity will overtake you. Opportunity will locate you. Amen. The Lord is telling us today that when whatever problem that is, we need to put him first. Nehemiah put his God first. Yes, he knew the king had power. Yes, he knew the king could do all things. But he knew that the king's heart lay in the hands of his God. Who is that king you need to speak to? He's only a human being. That person's heart lies in the hand of your God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The heart of that person lies in the hand of your God. When the time of divine shifting comes, it is God's ability to promote you. It is not what you qualify for. Amen. It is God's ability to promote you, but not what you qualify for. Some of you know, I've told this story a few times of when I was trusting God for my papers in England. Amen. Amen. I had my application in the home office. Amen. Amen. I was allowed to work. I had an insurance number. And the job God gave me was a job with the council. The council, the city council in London. I worked with Lambeth Council. The job he gave me was a job where I have to check people's passports. <laughs> Hallelujah! Yeah. Our God has a sense of humor. I always say, He say, Look, look, look at my daughter. Look at her. Look at her. Her passport is with the home office. She's waiting for them to put in her paperwork. And the job I'm giving her is checking people's passports. Yeah. God you say. The God who can give you a job. People will be in that job for 10 years, 15 years. You will come into that job and God will make you their manager. That is the God you said. Amen. He's a God who is not limited by time. He's not. He's a God who is not limited by age. He's a God who is not limited by location. Hallelujah. He's not limited. A divine shifting. Amen. He says, Jacob, I have loved. Esau, I have hated. Amen. Favor ain't fair, as T.D. Jake says. God chooses who he wants to bless. And today he says, it is your time of a divine shift. It is your time for a divine shift. I know what the Lord told me in the early hours of this morning. He says, if you can take this word and run with it, you will see a divine shift in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Your God will cause things to fall into place. Amen. Nehemiah was a cup bearer. When the king sent him to Judah, do you know what he became? He became a governor. He didn't send him to Judah as a servant. He sent him to Judah as a governor. From cupbearer to governor. How can that happen? He did not go up the ranks from cupbearer to wine tester to cook to servant to this. From cupbearer, Nehemiah went straight to governor. Hallelujah. That is the God who said. He's the God who does not work in stages. He's the God who gives accelerated blessing. That thing somebody has been trusting God for over 20 years. God says he's ready to do it for you today. I came all the way from Canada to tell you that your God is coming. Your God says this is your time of election. If you can receive it, it is yours. If you can run with it, it is yours. There is nothing too big for me. Your God says this is your time of Hallelujah. Amen. The favor of God will stop the hand of the enemy over your life. Amen. When God's hand is upon you, he silences every enemy. Amen. When God's time for a divine shifting comes, he silences every accuser. Hallelujah. You may have made mistakes. You may have gone wrong. But God says that Jacob he loves and Esau he hates. It is his choice to decide to promote you. It is your God's choice to decide to live. Regardless of that mistake you have made, regardless of how you have messed things up, your God says it is His choice to bless you. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! The enemy wants to ensure that he makes you a spiritual cripple. The accuser of the brethren wants to make you a spiritual cripple. He's there to remind you of the mistakes you have made. He's there to remind you of your position. He's there to remind you of your education. He's there to remind you of your bank balance. But your God says this is your time for divine Hallelujah. If you believe it, give him some praise. risen up and is standing before God. That thing that calls itself Goliath. God says this is your time for a divine shifting. He's not asking man whether he should promote you. He's not asking your neighbor whether he should promote you. He's not asking your family whether he should promote you. He has decided that this is a time for Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nehemiah puts his God first. Amen. In this time, it is a time when you are in labor. Amen. It is a time when God is going to bed that dream in your life. Amen. This is a time that God is ready to shift those things. Those things that have become Goliath in your life. If you can believe him and run with it, this is a word of God for you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When God's time for a divine shifting comes, people will not understand it. People will not believe it. People will not understand how God can take you from the back and bring you to the front. Divine shifting. Amen. At this time that you are in labor, God is ready to bring past that vision. What he told me to tell the people of God is that be careful who you associate with. Because people carry atmosphere. How many of you know some people can come and visit you? By the time they leave, there's confusion in your house. You are fighting. People carry atmosphere. Amen. This is your time for a divine shift. It is your time to associate with the right people. It is your time that people who will speak the word of God in your life should be around you. Anybody who speaks negative 
Anybody who cannot believe your mission, anybody who cannot believe where God is taking you, is not supposed to be around. Hallelujah. Amen. This is your time for a divine shift. Instead of Joseph serving the prisoners, he was served in Egypt. Instead of Ruth picking up grain in the fields of a rich man, she became the owner of the field. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The God you serve says this is your time for the divine shift. God just needed Nehemiah to trust him. He needed Nehemiah to talk the talk. Amen. He needed Nehemiah to say the right things. He needed Nehemiah to know the God he serves. Let the people around you mock you. Let them tell you that you go to church every Sunday. You are the one who goes to open the door. You are the last person to leave. Let them mock you. Let them laugh at your God. Your God says this is a time for a divine show. Hallelujah. The God we serve is a showman. The God we serve. I said the God we serve is a showman. This is a time of a divine shifting. Please do not take this message lightly. It has been burning in my spirit. It has been burning inside me. That God says I should tell you that enough is enough. Enough is enough. The prophetic word for this month is the month of divine attention. Your God says this is the man he shall give attention to you. This is the man that that problem shall be given divine attention. This is the man of divine shifting. Please do not take it lightly. I keep saying this. A lot of the time we become cynical as Christians. The enemy makes us spiritual cripples. That is what happens. You say, I've heard this one before. Oh, what haven't I heard before? That is what the enemy wants. Because when, he, when you say that, you put yourself in the box. You don't even need the enemy to come in a box. You have put yourself in the box. Amen. This is your time of divine shifting. If God can promote Nehemiah from a cupbearer to a governor, what can't your God do for you? What is impossible for the God you said? Hallelujah. Let's give him some praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Today, if you are here today, I'm here to say to you, that problem is not hopeless. You serve a God who is able to do all things. Within 24 hours, your story can change. Within 24 hours, your testimony can be different. This is the God who is able to do all things. This is the God who is able to shift things in the spirit for you. Do not look at where you are coming from. Do not look at the limitations. Do not look at what has happened in the past. He says this is a new year. This is your time of divine attention. If you can take this word and run with it. I'm telling you that next month you will come here and give a testimony. Because the word of God has spoken it. The word of God has spoken it. That this is your time of divine shift. Hallelujah. Amen. Nehemiah had enemies. After he had been made the governor. And he got to Judah. There was Thumbalat and Tobias waiting for him. Hallelujah. But he knew the God he said. Sometimes God allows us to go to a period of no external growth. But that is because he's working on your internal growth. Amen. Amen. But today the word of God for you is that this is your time of a divine shift. Can we rise up to our feet? Hallelujah. Hallelujah.